Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about this past year. Let me address something really quickly. I am in a different background. I am at my parents' home in Florida. When you see this video, I will not be in Florida any longer. I will be back in the MPLS, which is Minneapolis, hence the shirt, Target. That's where I got it. I actually just re-watched my video um, entitled, <clears throat> I have like all these notes, Goals and Resolutions 2016. I'm going to link that video down below if you would like to watch it. I am very cringeworthy in that video, just FYI. But let me address some things that I talked about in that video, uh, things that I achieved, things that I didn't. I made a promise to you guys in that video that I would do a revisit video. So essentially this is going to be a 2016 goals follow-up video. So I wanted to address everything that I talked about then and also let you know how either the goal went or didn't go or whatever. And then I am going to be filming a 2017 goals, which will be up very soon for you guys as well. But I'm going to be filming that when I'm back in Minnesota. So here's my goals last year. I did it into like four different sections. Fitness, organization, financial goals, personal goals. Oh, I sorry, I did five sections. I needed another page. And then uh, like YouTube, social media goals. So as for fitness, really everything in that didn't 100% happen, which is like really sad. And I, it's just, it's just irritating that like future Emily or now Emily didn't do anything. It just makes me irritated. So I got this like nice hourly planner from Erin Condren thinking like, oh, I'm gonna use this for like food and fitness. And I just couldn't get into it for using it for that. Now I use it for my like regular everyday planner. Um, like I said, at my parents' house, I actually didn't bring my planner with me because I didn't want to lug it around and all that. So like I said, I was gonna log like food, fitness, and sleep, and that just didn't happen. Um, I did it for about a week and a half and it just like, I couldn't get into it. And that's okay. Like I feel like it just didn't work for me, but that doesn't mean it won't work for you. Um, and then no, my other, my next goal was no eating after 7 p.m., which actually did happen quite a bit. Um, like the actual goal happened, which means I didn't eat after 7 p.m. Um, now, because I work such a weird shift, I am definitely not eating after 7 p.m. usually because I work so darn early in the morning and I am home usually by 4 p.m. And then I am, I am typically eating by 5 p.m. And then, yeah, so like my, I'm, I'm so far kind of ahead just because I wake up so freaking early in the morning now. So um, yeah, eating, being done eating by 7 p.m. was a big goal of mine and I definitely achieved that more than not. So I would say I achieved that about 85% of the time. Um, there were days where obviously I just couldn't do that, but you know, it was pretty rare, which is kind of nice. Um, the next goal was 80-20. What I mean by that is 80% good, 20% eh. So like a cheat day, cheat weekend, kind of however you want to see it. Eh. I don't feel like I actually took the time enough to really figure that into like my diet, you know? Like, I think that's a great philosophy, but like, I just didn't do it. Like, I wasn't like at the grocery store meal planning and being like, oh, you know what? I have this 80-20 rule and I need to follow it. Like, I just didn't think about that. And there was like weeks where I just ate total garbage. And then there was like months where I ate like really good food. Like, I don't know. It was just like, I feel like life is kind of that give and take as well, but I just didn't really consciously think about it. I think I said it on the video and then I just didn't do anything about it. And that's how some of these goals went and I'm just being completely honest like it just some of this stuff just didn't work for me because I don't think I was ready for that part of my life to change honestly next thing was eight glasses of water a day I'm pretty good at that actually right now I have not been doing that since I've been working where I am we have this like really weird kitchenette situation in the fridge and all of that people keep stealing my shit like they keep stealing all my food it's like this bad thing so Anyway, we're actually moving buildings very soon. Um, it's this whole long story. We don't need to get into it. But essentially, I don't feel comfortable using the freezer and the refrigerator in there because people keep stealing all my crap. So that's like a big problem, obviously, because I bring it from home and I buy it and it's, you know, good stuff for you. And then people decide, 
hey, you know what, I didn't bring this from home, let me try to eat it, and then they do it when I'm not there. So yeah, it's really irritating. So anyway, I've already talked to the other business owner that that's been happening with, and he is deciding really not to do much about it. So I would normally bring in some like bottles of water or something like that to put in the fridge. Um, I'm not doing that right now. I cannot stand room temperature water. That just drives me crazy. But um, I love a good cold water, so you know, I try, but when I get home from work is when I usually drink the bulk of my water, which you should really distribute it like throughout the day. I just don't do that. Um, exercise five times a week. How, yeah, that did not happen. Like that happened May, I don't even think I exercised five times a week at all in the year of 2016. I think I exercised maybe three at the most. So maybe that's like a better goal is like three instead of five because that just did not happen. Um, bringing lunch to work, I was really good at that when I worked for the stone company. Um, now that I'm working where I do, unfortunately with the kitchen situation, it's just so hard for me to do that. Um, I did do that for a little while, but then you know all my stuff got taken, so that was just not good. So unfortunately I have been eating out. Um, sleeping by 11 p.m., I was actually pretty good at that. Um, I There were days where I would still be up till 2 a.m. and I'm, I'm a weird sleeper anyway. But yeah, so now with my new job, I've been really forced to be in bed sleeping by 11 p.m. every single day because if not, it's just all bad the next day. And then I also said tracking weight once per week. Eh, I kind of did, like I didn't really track it though. I just kind of weighed myself and went, okay, I mean, maybe I'll have a salad today or hey, I'm doing good. I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was was invested in it I guess I mean I know that's like horrible to say but um, I'll talk about that more in my like 2017 goals video which is gonna be coming up real soon for you guys but anyway that was my fitness category next category is get organized um, I wanted to do a spring cleaning edit which I totally did um, so achieve that one get rid of 20% of belongings totally did that. I probably got rid of like more like 35-40% of my belongings, especially with my move that just happened. Um, my paper filing system revamp, <laughs> that never happened. Um, I had all these great intentions and I think I will do that at some point. It's just like, I kind of went through some of this stuff and like got rid of some of the things that don't pertain to me anymore, like bills that I don't have any longer and things like that where I don't really need account numbers any longer. It just never happened, and whatever. Um, let's see, edit planner supplies, I had been doing that. Um, I keep doing that as well. I was talking about doing like giveaways and things like that with planner supplies, doing racks, and I've been consistently doing that as well, which is a good thing because sometimes you just need to get stuff out of your life. Also, uh, a big point in that get organized category was do more with less. Uh, the reason I wrote that down is because I think we all need to do more with less, and I think I did achieve some of that. Um, there were times where I got a little hoardy about things, um, like just keeping a little bit too much, and then uh, when that would happen and I would get frustrated enough I would do a giveaway so <laughs> that all worked out um, all right so my next category was financial goals uh, the first one was remain debt free I talked a little bit more about debt in my journey um, a couple of videos back I will link that below to my financial story um, that's been a pretty popular video on the channel a lot of you subscribers have come from that video so um, I will link it down below if you guys feel free to watch it um, to kind of like know what my journey is I have not always been the best with finances which is why I like to share and be really transparent about them um, so remain debt free that's good I haven't accumulated any other debts um, also not eating out as often, I'm um, just eating out for special occasions. Unfortunately, I have been eating out a lot recently and I've been feeling like really like ugh, ugh about it. But mainly I've been eating out because of the lunch situation at my office. When I get back, which I'm obviously not there right now, um, I am going to try to come up with some sort of solution where I can bring my lunch to work every day and uh, feel comfortable to use my kitchen, essentially, that's there. All right, uh, the next thing was limit impulse purchasing. I think I've done a pretty good job of that. There, I've definitely been using like a cash clip system. I'll link that video below for you too. I've been doing like all these crazy videos this year. It was kind of crazy like trying to find the video that I needed to watch to film this video and seeing like all the content. I'm like, wow, I have filmed a lot of freaking videos this year. Um, but yeah, limiting impulse purchasing, that has been really good for me. Um, because I've been using those cash envelope or not envelope but cash clip systems for a little while and um, that's been really helpful to be like okay well I only have $30 in my clothing budget I can't afford this $60 sweater like it's just not gonna happen maybe next month if it's still available then I'll get it you know whatever like it I don't need for a sweater like I want for a sweater does that make sense you know I don't need it I want it so 
I can say no to myself to understand what the larger and bigger goal is here. Also speaking of goals, um, making goal-driven decisions is what I want to do with my financial goals. That kind of ties into limit Im impulse purchasing. I just wanted to make sure that I was really doing the right thing for my long-term future, and I think I did that pretty well this year. Um, I also wanted to triple my savings balance, which I did, and um, I didn't really get into numbers in that video, and I'm not going to get into numbers because I feel like savings is a little bit different than like showing you my budget and all of that. So, but I did triple my budget, and I did do my goal by June of 2016, which I had slated to have done by now of 2016. I'm actually filming this in December. I'm not sure if this is going up in December or January. I don't know yet. Um, that was pretty crazy to think like, wow, if I really get motivated, like I can do this in like double the time. And that was with no gifts, no nothing. Um, actually, no, I think I got a birthday gift of $100. I think I had one birthday gift. Well, obviously I had one birthday, but a birthday gift of $100, but tax refund money, bonuses at work, anything extra that I could squeeze out. Um, doing a no spend month in there really helped kickstart that. I think May was a no spend month. Um, but yeah, like just, just getting motivated and getting on that track and I was like holy crap like I can do so much with so little that satisfaction of seeing that bank balance just creep up and up and up and up is like real to me is really rewarding so that I definitely achieved so really all my financial goals I achieved so rock on personal goals um, wake up earlier I wanted to wake up at 7 a.m. well I'm at work at 7 a.m. now so that's been achieved. Um, it wasn't achieved before, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, painting nails once a month, that <laughs> so did not happen. I maybe painted my nails like three times. Um, and one of them was actually a manicure from a place that was like really, really kind of junky and I could have done a better job my darn self. Um, and then also apply daily body lotion. That didn't happen either. Just didn't happen. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. All right, so my last page is, I don't wanna make this video too long, but I feel like I'm rambling like really, really fast but I'm already at like almost 14 minutes and I just wanna make this less than 20 minutes for a video. Um, so in 2016, what I wanted to do with YouTube and social media, this is kind of a lot category, is I wanted to keep consistent with my posting schedule, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I have done that consistently this entire year. I have not taken any time off. I have not delayed in videos. Um, they are posted every day. Uh, sorry, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they're posted at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, always for you guys. Right now, I am the th in the throes of doing Vlogmas, so those are posting like later in the evenings. I'm not really super consistent with the times, but that's just because it's Vlogmas and whatever. But I am doing videos until the 31st, but by the time this video goes up, I may or may not still be in Vlogmas. I'm not really sure, but that's okay. Or I have been consistently uploading this entire year, and I will continue to be consistently uploading in 2017 as well. So this is actually a really cool like little statistic. When I posted that video last year, I was at 975 subscribers on YouTube and my goal for myself or for my channel was in January 1st of 2017 which actually hasn't happened yet today is actually December 24th 2016 I wanted to be at 2,000 subscribers well I am now at 5,247 subscribers as of right now today posting this by the time or not posting this filming this by the time this posts I will more than likely have more subscribers than that um, which is kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, I wanted to, my goal was 2,000 and I got over 5,000, which is insane. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. It really means so much to me that you guys are loving my content and sharing my content with your family and friends and that you get something out of these videos too. I love producing these videos. I love talking to you guys. I love talking to you guys in the comments. It's just really fun to have this like little community that we've both built together, which is really, really cool. So thank you guys so much for the internet love on YouTube. As for Instagram, um, I was at 975 Instagram followers as well. Um, my goal was to hit 2,000 Instagram followers. Right now I'm at 2,303, so that goal was definitely achieved as well. Um, if you don't follow me on social media and you have those social media platforms, they are always linked below in all of my videos, so go ahead and check me out if you really want to. If not, totally understand. Um, but yeah, you can always find me everywhere. <laughs> um, I also wanted to make it a point to do more giveaways, which I have been doing. Um, I've been doing lots of giveaways on like video format as well as Instagram. Um, so I had been kind of consistently doing that throughout the year. Um, I do have a really large giveaway coming up and that is going to be happening in the future. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, you will have to end up subscribing to my YouTube channel, so you might as well just hit that subscribe button right now. 
And then my last thing was logging video suggestions from you guys. So yeah, I have been logging the video suggestions and I have done lots of videos that you guys have suggested. So in that spirit, if you guys have any video suggestions for 2017, feel free to post them below. I do log all of them and you know, I, I do get to some of them. I don't get to all of them, but you know, I try as best as I can. So that is it for my 2016 goals follow-up video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, all those other video links will be posted down below for you guys if you'd like to watch them. So this video makes it a little bit more sense to you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like goal videos. There's going to be some more coming up soon for you in the future. And hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys, as well as a fun little giveaway coming up very soon for you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!